Hey, bitch. It's Jamie. That's me here. Welcome back to the channel, honey, and welcome back to another quick check. Now, listen, I didn't get a chance to touch on Darius Jackson, you know, Kiki Palmer's baby daddy, but I wanted to talk about that, okay? Um, Because it appears that he has now decided to file his own restraining order against her, and he's saying that um, she actually abused him throughout the relationship. I do find this very hard to believe, but we are going to go ahead and check out the messages and everything that's been going on with Kiki Palmer and this baby daddy of hers, Darius. Now, when Kiki Palmer came out with, you know, her video, her restraining order, her reports, you know, to the police and everything, um, shortly after that, after Darius saw how social media, you know, drug him, then he decided to come to the front girl and show us text messages between he and Kiki. And it seems like he could have sent additional text messages as well. But at the end of the day, Darius, I want you to understand this, sweetheart. As I go through these details and I read whatever it is that I read, you trying to let us know that Kiki Palmer has assaulted you in any fashion does not excuse what you have done to her. It does not excuse, in my opinion, the video that she says that she has that she took screenshots from. So I guess your only thing you may think that you're vindicating yourself by, you know, sharing these details. I don't necessarily agree. But what I could see is that you're just trying to show how both toxic you guys really are to each other. That is what I'm capturing from the, the fiasco of everything that's going on. OK, but I want to make sure that I came to the front and I, you know, shared my thoughts about it. So let's go ahead and let's kind of like get into this article and see what they're saying. And then we'll hop over to Radar Online and we'll check out what some of those messages and stuff was saying as well. OK, as you guys come into the video, make sure that you guys are supporting the channel by liking the video. If you've been watching a few of the videos but have yet to subscribe, you might want to go ahead and do so because it's clear that you enjoy the content. honey. OK, so definitely subscribe to the channel. All that great jazz. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to to get into it all right so i'm over here on the cut so let's get into it they're saying in november kiki palmer filed a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend darius jackson alleging that he physically and emotionally abused her throughout their two-year relationship now palmer is also seeking sole custody of their eight-month-old son but a few weeks after her initial filing palmer and jackson decided to mediate their custody arrangement privately and requested that a hearing regarding the restraining order be postponed now now, I stood corrected on this particular situation because from my understanding, this was not something that um, they decided on. This was something from my understanding that was ordered by the courts. The courts ordered them to mediate their own situation and see when it comes to custody, whether they can come to an agreement. All right. Now, understand the restraining order is still in place. They have not met. They were supposed to meet December 5th. The judge pushed it out, I believe, to next month or whenever. I don't know if there's an exact date for the restraining order, but it has been pushed the hell out. All right. I find it interesting that Mr. Darius has decided that he wanted to file this restraining order against her. Um, what? a month or so after the situation has happened, almost a month and a half later. Now you want to file a restraining order? Child, you should have did that when she filed one on you. So I don't understand where you're getting your advice from and who's telling you what. But um, good luck. All right. Well, let's keep going. They're saying according to, to people in the original restraining order filing, Palmer alleges that during their relationship, there were many instances of physical violence, including Jackson grabbing her by the neck, destroying her personal property, including diaries and prescription eyeglasses, throwing her belongings into the street and throwing her car keys to prevent her from driving away, hitting her in front of their son, spewing profanities about her to their son, threatening to unalive himself okay and this is if you know if she left or whatever goes on to say harassment and other physical and emotional abuse was endured throughout this relationship okay so if he has text messages confirming that kiki has assaulted him in any fashion i immediately am going to the thought of her defending herself number one and if she's apologized for anything, it's her feeling guilt towards harming the person that has abused her. That is how I see that. OK, for me. All right. Anything outside of that, y'all was over there operating in a toxic ass relationship. 
period. But let's go ahead and keep going. All right. Now they're saying, although the relationship apparently ended in October, Palmer alleges that the abuse did not. Shortly before the restraining order was filed, Darius trespassed into her home. Let's not forget that because a lot of y'all, okay, um, and, and I'm not, not so much as y'all, but I've been seeing a lot of people try to make Kiki Palmer so much of the problem, like whatever happened on her in her home on whatever day that was in November, y'all try to act like it did not happen when it did. First of all, you don't bring your to nobody house unannounced thinking that you're going to beat they fucking door down, make a, a entry into their home that was unwanted and then sit up there and scream to the top of your lungs where the fuck your child at when you know your child ain't there. So we just going to forget the fact that this man just trespassed and came over to her property and bust into her door. So we just going to forget all of that demanding certain things. Are you crazy? And you, then y'all want to sit up here and make it seem like she the problem. She the villain. She the one that's been assaulting him. She been doing this and that. Girl, I need the people to get it together. But anywho. So she goes on to say, Darius trespassed into my home without my knowledge or consent, threatened me, then physically attacked me, lunging for my neck, striking me, throwing me over the couch and stealing my phone. Everything that Kiki says here is what she put in the police report and everything that we have seen is reflected in those screenshots that she says she can provide video for should need be. All right. Now they go on to say the filing includes screenshots of security camera footage of a man striking a woman over a sofa, period. Now, describing another incident of abuse um, that she says took place in February 2022. Um, we kind of went into that in detail in a previous video where he felt like she was over there flirting with another woman at a restaurant. They had drove to some part of California to spend time together. It was like a quick getaway. But because he thought that she was flirting, he demanded that they leave. That's where he pretty much went in on her grabbed her glasses, threw them on the ground, stomped on them, threw her keys over into the street, opened up her bag with her belongings in them and threw them all over the place. And the ground was wet because it was raining that day. OK, I remember all of that. So I don't really have to read that portion verbatim because I remember what she put in the document. Now, Palmer says that the abuse wasn't just physical. She says Darius would love bomb her and make her feel like she was the most important woman in the world, only to get extremely distant and cold over a perceived insult to him. I believe everything she's saying, look at how he handled the whole situation when she was just out here having a good old time just dancing and enjoying herself he decided to overhype it make it bigger than what it is and then try to guilt her by saying you're a mother and you're a father what the fuck else is going on okay what else is going on she's having a great time why are you, you know what i'm saying like he was just doing too much and he definitely was showing him being a man of control trying to control her and because obviously he is now trying to file a restraining order and he's now trying to put details out there about Kiki. For me, this is letting me know that what's happening as far as the mediating the best, you know, custody situation for their son, it's not working out in his favor. And it seems like Kiki isn't budging on certain things that he may want. So because she's not budging on the things that he wants, then here he is trying to expose like, oh, well, she hit me too. And she's not that great of a person. Oh, now I want to file my own restraining order or whatever the case is. OK, so I don't know if the judge is even going to grant his restraining order, being that he may look at it as, OK, this is like a get back. You mad that she did it to you. So now you're trying to do it to her. I don't even know if I should take you serious. Right. So we shall see. They're saying on December 15th, Darius filed a response to Palmer's request for the restraining order and requested joint custody of the couple's son. Now, in the court documents, they're saying that Darius alleges that Palmer was the primary aggressor throughout their relationship and claims that she was physically and verbally abusive towards him. He also claims that the actress has punched, choked, and hit him. He says that on one day in November of 2021, Palmer called him over 200 times and sent him over 50 emails after he told her he would not spend the night with her. He claims that he changed his phone number four months later in an attempt to avoid further harassment and threats from Palmer. Now, I could believe it. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I could, I could believe that you ain't finna come over or whatever like that. I feel like, you know, that's something that a woman would do. Blow your damn phone up 200 times. You ain't responded to my text and ain't like that. I'm gonna email you yes. over and 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 over. You know what I'm saying? You get annoying or you get the answer that you want from them or whatever the case is. So I do believe that. Um, I do. I will. I can see where the judge would think that is a, or say that is a form of harassment. But at the end of the day, like I'm trying to get to where the where you going to explain where she hit you and got physical with you. Where are you going to get to that explanation? But anywho, um, he goes on to say they said um, he uh, Darius says that the video includes um, 
in Palmer's filing of him trespassing is misleading. So he's saying that she lying when it came down to trespassing. So I guess he wants to say that she knew that he was coming over either that or when he got to her house, somebody else opened the door and allowed him in. That's what it, it could be as well. But at the end of the day, I feel like Kiki didn't tell your ass to come in. So I don't give a damn for, who else am I though? <laughs> okay. It could be my mama. It could be my brother. It could be my grandma. I don't give a damn who else am I though. I didn't tell your ass you can come in. You better not step over that threshold. Hello? Let me go ask her and see if your ass can come in this house. You know how this works. Don't play with me. Let's keep going. All right. Um, I want to hop over actually and get into some of the documents of what they're saying over here on uh, Radar Online because they're saying that he submitted alleged text messages from Akiki to prove his claim that she punched him. OK, so in this portion is saying from Kiki and the, it looks like there are a series of text messages from her. Um, I'm not sure if he may have put these together on his own or if this is just a series of back to back text messages, because it's not necessarily showing what his response was to her. So I don't know if she was just sending back to back messages and he wasn't responding or if he edited this so that he could send it over to radar. But let's get into it. It says from Kiki, I'm really going to have to pray on this because I'm just so sad and triggered to that to that deeply lonely and isolated place in myself where I tell myself no one in this world understands or loves me. I feel I am not capable of pure and good love. And these are the energies I am now feeling and questioning and doubting. I'm just so sad. I feel so lost and it hurts so bad because I thought I was so clear on so many things. She goes on to say, she goes on to say, I'm ashamed of how I have I have behaved and I'm sorry that I was not who you needed me to be. I'm really sorry because I try so hard. You have no idea. I wish you could see into my heart and my mind, but I know only God can. And that's OK. That's why I love God, because I know that's the only, that's the one that knows me the most and knows both of us the most. I just pray that I can have peace on this situation. Now, let me say this. Let me go back to this statement where she says I'm ashamed of how I've behaved and I'm sorry that I was not who you needed me to be. Again, to me, that's not proving shit about Kiki, baby. That's proving you being a controlling person. And she's trying to change herself and alter herself to fit in your picture, to fit what you want her to be. So, so far, it's not helping you. But let's keep going. She says, I just get so sensitive and, and become so shell shocked on this inside, on the inside. I know when I love, I love hard. And that's why I didn't want to be in anything. Then I feel for you and feel harder than before. And I'm scared. I'm going to just spiral and spiral and spiral again. I feel so confused. So this Kiki reminds me of somebody um, that I know when they go through like breakups, they take it like extremely hard. A lot of people do. Some people take it better than others, but spiral. I don't think for me, as I'm reading this, I'm not seeing spiral. It means go off and like hit you and assault you and do all this crazy stuff. Spiral means to get into your head a lot and just really become extremely depressed. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but let's keep going. She says, I gave you so much control over my emotions and this saddens me. I lost myself in trying so hard to keep you and hold on to the space that I felt we shared. All right. And I do believe that this is coming from Kiki. All right. She says, I gave you so much control over my emotions. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, or the message says in that moment in the alley, when you were walking away from me, I was just so, so crushed the feeling that I felt I can't explain. And I'm still sitting in, in this very moment. I don't know why it was just so hard for me to understand you walking away. All I saw was every deep moment we have ever had and how I couldn't understand you turning your back on me. I had no space for your humanity and I immediately tried to possess you, but you are not mine. You are guys. And if you didn't want to share yourself with me anymore, I should have respected that. And I'm sorry, I didn't, you are not an object and I cannot be so unhealthily attached to you um to me uh this to me from what I'm reading it sounds like a manipulator that tries to play tug of war on your emotions um by acting like they're going to leave you knowing how you are this ain't the first time she's expressed this to him in my personal I don't know these people, so I don't know for a fact, but I, I want to believe this isn't the first time that she said these things. So for her to say him walking away, I, mm, girl, it's giving 
he was doing that because he couldn't control you how he wanted to or you you already trying to fit in his picture this is just a manipulation tactic in my opinion she says i'm sorry for hitting you i'm sorry for being afraid to lose you and that turning into me acting out of fear and desperation that was not the best me that you received and i'm sorry for that i am mad at the situation i'm mad at myself i'm deeply affected and afraid because it's such a deep heaviness that i don't want to feel anymore it's not your fault nor job to alleviate it from me. I honestly need to pray on it. I just hate how I expose how exposed I feel. I'm just sad and sorry to be texting so much. Um, again, I, I just feel like this could be a response to whatever you did. You could have hit her and she could have jumped back at you and hit your ass back. Hello? And still feel guilty for doing that. But let's keep going. Um, that's what I truly hate when things like this go down. I got to be here at work. I have no time today to just sleep and heal. I was up all night. I forgot all my shit at home. I'm in every single scene. Yeah, I did this all to myself. I'm sorry. My text coming out of order. So they're saying Kiki Palmer's ex-boyfriend Darius Jackson accused the actress of being the aggressor during their relationship and submitted alleged text, text messages in court to support his claim. Let's see if there's anything else they're trying to let us know. They're saying as far as they reported from last month, he is still expected to stay at least 100 yards away from her and their son. Um, let's see what else. See, he cropped off what he's really saying. So at the top, because I just read all of this that you guys see here, but at the very top, this blue message here says, but that's what makes you you. So she's sending all of these messages. He says, have the night to yourself, Kiki, only you. This is manipulate. This is manipulation when you know she don't want to be alone. Like, why would you respond and say, have the night to yourself, Kiki, only you? Like, girl, I don't know. I, uh -uh. He says, when you wake up tomorrow, let me know what you want to do. So she put a question mark. What the hell you mean? He says, uh, so he responds, I don't want to lose you, but I also don't want to lose myself, which is why I try and hold myself in those situations too. And then he cuts off the rest of the message. And again, this is the alleged text message because we don't know what the fuck Kiki sent him. I'm glad the person put at the bottom the alleged text because we don't even know that to be fact that this actually came from her. But anywho, in her filing, Kiki claimed Darius had been emotionally and physically abusive to her during their relationship. Um, they were together for about two years. So we pretty much know all of the backstory and we see all of the images and things like that's what I'm saying. Like y'all over here trying to defend this man. He literally looks like he's trying to snatch something off her hands, which is damn near dragging her off the fucking sofa. Like, come on now. Girl, Jonathan Major's ass was found guilty, not you know, for being reckless with the girl, not intentionally tr trying to harm her and lost his job, you know, and multiple just off of the strength of that. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to um, Jonathan Majors, he done lost his whole damn job. And it's crazy because, of course, people going to make him the problem. I'm going to let people do what they want to do. But obviously, the jury didn't believe shit the girl was saying about what happened in the car. So they couldn't even convict him on being guilty on that. But the things that happened outside of the car, they felt like he handled a bit recklessly. And based on the definition of harassment in New York or whatever, I guess it met those guidelines. But the whole case was confusing because how you find him not guilty on similar charges, but then guilty on the similar charges. So it's a little confusing, which may lead to him actually appealing. I don't know if he would want to. But and then the whole fact that the case is all like misdemeanor type shit. Why did he even go to trial to begin with? I don't even know why. I, I mean, girl, they are already trying to research the DA because the DA on some sketchy shit anyway. That's why his ass in hot water now. Um, but that's a whole nother conversation because he tried to get he tried to set up another man to say that this man violated the woman sexually. And the lady was like, I don't know where you got the information from because it never came from me. I never gave y'all those statements. And the man ended up being found not guilty. And now he's coming after that same DA's ass and more okay so um you got hell on your hands sir but anyway um moral of the story is for me like damn jonathan majors got convicted for that you know being reckless with the girl even though i feel like the girl kind of did it to herself the way she was pulling on that man so if he yanking from your ass that's your fault because you shouldn't be having no grip on him but anyway the fact that he was found guilty for what he did and we seeing this then y'all y'all you know a lot of people be calling Jonathan out saying that he's the problem and he's this and he's that but then some of those very people will see this vid these uh pictures of this man pulling on Kiki Kiki tugging on her and all of that in this 
in the photos, not even the video yet. And when he comes out with text messages saying that she hit him, y'all want to say, see, told y'all Kiki was the problem. But he he didn't name that. Like, he ain't really tell us shit. Kiki gave us detailed dates. Like, she didn't just give us dates. She gave us exact details of what happened from start to finish. He has yet to do anything like that. All this man has done was, was show a text message where she said, I'm sorry, I hit you. She could have do something. I don't know. I'm not saying it's right. But where is his detailed information at? It's just, it's not adding up. It's not clicking, Steven, for me. Um, it's giving he's full of shit. And I'm interested to see what's going to happen with the restraining order that he calls himself, um, he calls himself giving, uh, giving to her. And it's just, I just hate to see people kind of go up for him when we have these photos of him literally, literally picking her up and body slamming her ass on her fucking stairs. Like, are you out your goddamn mind? Like, are you stupid? Are you stupid? And y'all want to sit up here and go off of like, that's what like his texts do not compete nor compare to her photos. And we ain't even got the video yet. Do not compete nor compare to her photos. So y'all can cut the fuck shit out for me. But I had to make sure that I went ahead and came to the front and gave y'all my quick thoughts about this. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop off and let y'all share y'all thoughts. I'm Jamie. That's me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos or follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jamie. That's me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah. King of my city in Kodasak. Uh. Coming, I swing like soldier rags. Yeah. Leading my people like quarterback. But I study this shit. I'm an almanac. Yeah. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming. I'm here to apply. Yeah. Came with the chip and the dip. It just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Yeah. Spinning the block for the Gouda. We hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. Yeah. We don't do beef on computers. I'm straight out the sewer. We telling you rest. Yeah. Niggas be looking perplexed. So keeping my foot on their neck. Uh -huh. No map. I trust my gut for the quest. But drama, I'm fully abreast. Yeah. I was ready for years and they died of me. Uh -huh. All of a sudden they tell me they proud of me. Yeah. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Uh -huh. Cross my mind, I came back with some batteries. Stand for my honor. But you run no counter. Packing the stick with a drum. Wanna catch my bad one fumble.